what is going on guys welcome back to channel critical overlord here so as you see here on your screen we are going to be talking about jeepers creepers reborn once again jeepers creepers 4 so this new image that came out well to give appropriate context this came out last week when that official new website was launched jeepers creepers reborn.com where it was going over all the official things regarding the competitions and how you can sign up for more newsletters and get all these updates that have nothing to do with what you probably want to see which is a trailer but this image you see here is the creepers frailed up hand presumably again looking like this because it just woke up and it's hungry and it seems to have latched on to something and pulled off some hair from what i can see as it's got its hand sticking out of this um what i'll say just I'll, I'll describe it as a male slot for now so if you compare this to some of the shots in the trailer or the teaser that we've already gotten of ocean navarro where she's standing at in the end of that and then we hear her screaming this seems like this is the aftermath of that where the creeper latched on to the back of her head and has grabbed a piece of her hair because she makes it out of that instance that will happen in the film alive presumably again to die at a later point i'm assuming <laughs> uh and the creeper or maybe what also my probably was happening there was that the creeper just latched onto her to get a good whiff <laughs> through that uh male slot and we'll see whether or not she ends up biting the dust because the creeper decides it likes something from her and wants to kill her and do whatever it wants to do with her the other thing that i was going to talk about after that new image was go back to another image that we got already of that cult where we have Sydney Craven's character laying in the middle. A lot of you have pointed out to me that one of the people at the very bottom on the right look like D Wallace. This is kind of alarming to me and has me has me a little intrigued as to see how this actually would factor into the narrative if she's playing multiple characters and they were they're just expecting us not to remember because we're only going to see her for a brief moment later on in the film or if her character of Marie since again I've already talked about this she's supposed to be in involved in this relationship with this other man uh ron who's played by gary graham this couple ron and marie who go on this road trip or they're driving home from church one sunday and they go to this farmhouse find unspeakable horrors in it and they're never seen or heard from again now is this if this is her in this cult does that mean that the creeper sometimes goes out of his way and takes people to his lair or his house of pain and has them begin to do bidding for him or in other words does he give them a pass if he decides he doesn't want anything from them and starts doing other things with them or wants to use them for other stuff we will have to find that out in the uh, actual movie but i just think that's a little a little peculiar and has me intrigued to know why she would be attacked by the creeper early on but then involved in the cult as well later on if she's even involved in the cult, because that couldn't that it might not be d wallace just might be someone who looks exactly like her <laughs> well not exactly but it just someone who resembles her so if it's not d wallace then that would probably be the better outcome because if it is her and that's the same character it's going to be real interesting to see how they justify the creepers motivations with certain people and how they end up factoring into his cult because then that has me wondering because we never saw what happened to scotty we know that there was a scene that got deleted that was ne well actually it wasn't even shot there was a scene i believe where we were going to see the creepers basement or some type of military bunker that it uses as a layer in the second film but they never shot that there's storyboard art out there for it though um so we never saw what happened to scotty so what if one of these cult members is somehow scotty and we find out scotty survived the events of jeepers creepers 2 and just throwing that out there one of these characters in this cult could be scotty i would hope not i just think that this cult thing if you start doing stuff like that and then bringing in old people from the from the original two and saying that they've been doing his bidding or doing its bidding and preparing things for it for the past 23 years you're gonna have to give me a real convincing reason as to why they were doing that if it if it's been sleeping for 23 years what is it that it has over these people are there other powers that this monster has if that's the case i might be fine with it 
because they've already teased us with the idea well actually we've already seen it play out the telekinesis we've already seen aspects of that that was an aspect that was involved in the cathedral script but the way it came out over in the actual third movie that we got was very comical i know for a lot of people so they don't want to see that intertwined in any capacity with the fourth movie the way it was making the truck move with its mind was a little bit ridiculous the telekinesis in and of itself was teased in jeepers creepers 2 when the dagger had jumped out of taggart's hand when he was observing it in his house but the way they take it on full head in Jeepers Creepers 3 was just too comical for people. So if they want to explore another power, like it has some type of ability to control people in a way, uh, then I would be fine with that more so than seeing comical telekinesis on display again. Unless you can have a way that it comes off looking a little bit more less comical. Because the way the effects in Jeepers Creepers 3 tacked on with the way the telekinesis was being performed on certain objects just had a lot of people thinking that the truck had a mind of its own when it doesn't it it doesn't have a mind of its own it was the creeper doing that but it's just the way that he's choosing to use the telekinesis it just made it come off comical but we'll see i also want to touch on timo who had a sit down with you need a horror podcast and i'll leave a link to their video that they did this week he has confirmed that post-production is done the only thing that's being waited on now at this point is the the distribution this is of course for us being screen media if you're in the states deciding what they want to do as far as a release date what do they want to do because my honest opinion on that matter is i don't know what they think is going to come out of any weekend they decide to drop this movie if you're deciding that you're going to go full ham on like a, a marketing campaign as the release nears and get all this attention on this movie maybe that'll draw more attention to it in, into into the result of people going out to the theaters to see it sure but i think that would also lead to a lot of backlash a lot of negative reception a lot of things that might get the movie pulled from theaters altogether Something about this just tells me that this movie is not going to be solely in theaters nationwide. I, the, the, the times of Jeepers Creepers thriving in theaters died in 2003. They waited too long for the third movie. We got a third movie that did go to theaters for like two days. And then that was it. So I don't see how a Jeepers Creepers movie can thrive in theaters during this current climate with all this stuff going on and people having more access to things regarding the series creator. So I just see negative things coming from that. So if they are deciding that they want to go full ham on a full theatrical release when they're in theaters for like a month or so, that would be like the first major movie, I think, from Screen Media that does that. And let's say it's actually a box office hit. That would be another surprise. Then that would also guarantee we will get a fifth and sixth movie. But who knows what they're doing at this point. But Timo did confirm that post-production is done. And now we just are awaiting a release date. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. And let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.